Hi friends, welcome to Mega Technical Hub. In the last sessions, we discussed about the uh, two important parameters that is frequency and amplitude. Frequency tells us about the probable causes of the machinery problem, and amplitude tells us about the severity of the problem. And today we are going to discuss about the third important parameter that is phase analysis. This phase analysis is mainly used in vibration to pinpoint the machinery defects that we will discuss in the later slides. If you consider a machine which runs at which rotates at thousand five hundred RPM, you can write it is in hertz. That is twenty five hertz. You need to divide by sixty, then you will get twenty five. And you are taking the you have taken the vibration readings here, this equipment, and you will get the spectrum. Suppose the spectrum here, x axis that is the frequency in hertz, and y axis there is amplitude. Then here velocity is the measuring parameter, velocity in mm per second. Suppose you get a dominating peak at here around twenty five hertz, means one into RPM of this machine, and the amplitude is here around around here fifteen mm per second. Okay, and the dominating peak is one into RPM, and uh, severity is fifteen mm per second. But uh, the this frequency generally represents the probable causes like unbalance and there may be a bend shaft and there may be a structural flexibility structural flexibility means this 1x uh dominating peak in any vibration spectrum there are mainly three probable causes mainly that is one is unbalance that is bent shaft and structural flex flexibility so how to differentiate these three defects because you need to pinpoint the uh, defect because you need to take the corrective action based on the your defects so at that case we need to use phase analysis to pinpoint whether it is the defect whether it is unbalanced whether it is bent shaft or whether it is structural flexibility so to differentiate these defects and to pinpoint the main defect you need to use phase analysis here consider the two children a and b they are swinging okay back and forth next to each other if they are swing at same phase at same instant of time then it is uh, then you, you just you can call it as a zero degree phase okay for example these two children are singing at a certain frequency that is f and they have some amplitude this frequency and amplitude tells us about the how the they are singing per unit time and also what is the maximum displacement from extreme ends okay but it doesn't provide any information about the two ch children how they are relative to each other how they are singing relative to each other a and b okay. in the right picture you can observe here one boy and one girl they are also swinging but here boy is moving towards forward and the Uh, that uh, girl is moving toward swinging toward backward okay at an instant of time they are out of phase means they are 180 degree out of phase so in the left picture the two children they are in 0 degree phase they are moving at same instant of time with phase and this boy and girl they are uh, swinging in opposite to each other at an instant of time then you can call it as a 180 degree out of phase so in case of machine you can define like this 
For example, it is a motor, and here it is a non-drive end bearing, and here it is a drive end bearing. Suppose certain force is acting on this motor, then non-drive end bearing and drive end bearing both move relative to each other. For example, some force is acting on this motor, and the both non-drive and drive end they are moving at the same direction at an instant of time. Then you can call it as a zero degree phase between D and N D. In case of this motor, you can call it as M two. In this case, the non-drive end bearing. This is non-drive end bearing. This is drive end bearing. Certain force is acting here, but this force tends to move the N D and D bearing opposite to each other. Means at an instant of time, suppose. the nd bearing moves upward but at that time the d bearing bearing moves downward means they are rocking movement there will be a rocking movement between the d and nd so we can call it as the this mo relative movement between the d and nd bearing is 180 degree okay so we can define the phase as it is a instantaneous position of one vibrating body With respect to reference, or with respect to other vibrating body. Here, see here how the uh, there is a rocking movement of this impeller here, and how it moves. See here, due to the rocking movement, there is a movement between the D and N D bearing here. There is some relative movement is there. Again, in this case, the suppose the uh, there is a misalignment. then the pump and motor they moves opposite to each other you can observe here so phase is very much important to understand the relative movement between the two vibrating body are two different signals whenever any shaft rotates it produces a sinusoidal cycle that we learnt in earlier sessions and this is a sine wave sine wave so cycle com, uh, time taken to complete one cycle you can call it as a time period okay and here you can represent the phase here at this point a the phase is 0 degree and the when the shaft is here it is around 90 degree and when the shaft position is here that is 180 degree here it is 270 here it is 360 means to complete one cycle it takes around 360 degree rotation okay for one complete cycle there is 360 degree phase in this animation you can see here when the this unbalanced moves there is a one signal here and when the force unbalanced moves moves from the 0 to 90 degree here Again, one eighty degree, two seventy degree. How the signal travels here? You can you can just see the this point here. You can visualize this one. In the bottom picture, here there are two signals are there. Okay, one is uh, signal is constant here. One is signal is uh, moving here. At certain instant of time, they are in phase. See here. At this case, it is out of phase. Okay, when this both the points are coincide then there they are in in phase here it is out of phase okay means these two vibrating body how they relative to each other so some instant they are zero degree phase some instant they are 180 degree out of phase by considering the spring mass system here this is uh, there are two spring mass system c and d here In this case, at the uh, this picture, this both the phase they are in moving at the same instant time with same phase. We can call it as a zero degree phase. They are they are in phase. But in this case, uh, the uh, mass is at the upper end, upper extreme limit, and the mass B is at the lower lowermost limit. In this case, at an instant of time, you can call it as a they are one eighty degree 
out of phase. In this case here, the phase difference between the x and y, the two mass that, that you can call it as a 90 degree out of phase. So, phase is mostly used to compare two vibrating components for further diagnosis. In vibration topic, there are mainly two terms are used. That is absolute phase, one more is relative phase. In case of absolute phase, we use a tachometer here, T, and there is a vibration analyzer, and there is a sensor here. Sensor is mounted on the motor here, and this taco, there is a reflective tape here. This reflective tape is uh, sticked on the shaft here. When the this uh, tachometer senses the reflective tape during the rotation. For example, you, you just see here this uh, picture here, this tachometer during one complete rotation of this shaft here, it gives one pulse. Okay. For each rotation, there is a one pulse and it between the two pulses here, there is one complete revolution means here it is 360 degree rotation. For each rotation, it gives one pulse, the tachometer. Again, you are measuring the vibration here by using the sensor here by mounting on the horizontal direction and this sensor also gives some sine wave like this okay and uh, by comparing here when this uh, tachometer and the sensor they have they have some time difference there is some time difference okay here uh, you can consider almost there is a phase difference between the 80 degree means from the vibration sensor it is 80 degree out of phase with the this sticker position. So generally the absolute phase we use to for the balancing purpose. For the balancing purpose generally you can see there is a tachometer, there is a vibration sensor. Okay, This tachometer gives the pulse for every 360 degree rotation. For each rotation it gives one pulse and how the vibration sensor gives the signal. There is a difference between the signal and the pulse. There is the we call it as the absolute phase. And one more is the relative phase. In case of relative phase, we need to use two sensors here S1, S2. There are two sensors. One is mounted on the vertical direction, one is mounted here in the horizontal direction. Okay. In this case, they are, both the sensors are connected to the any vibration analyzer. This S1 sensor, it gives one sign signal here and S2 sensor, it gives one more sinusoidal signal that is S2. Okay. Then you can see here, what is the phase difference between the S1 and S2. Both the sig signals are some, there is a time difference between the S1 and S2. You can here, you can write this as 90 degree out of phase. Both the S1 and S2, they are 90 degree out of phase. So, this uh, relative moment we need to uh, pinpoint the any machinery defects for example here it is a single individual primer block you mounted yeah, the sensor in vertical direction here in the horizontal direction and it gives and it uh, gives around 90 degree phase then you can pinpoint that it is a unbalanced problem whenever the phase difference between the horizontal to vertical for any individual component individual bearing component then it generally represents 90 degree generally we call it as a 90 you can consider 90 degree plus or minus 30 there may be a some phase delay so we need to consider plus or minus 30 here in case suppose uh, there is a pump and motor here this is a pump and this is a motor here and there is a coupling across to connect both the pump and motor suppose there is a misalignment in between the motor to pump then you need to pinpoint that defect of the misalignment. Then what you need to do? You need to put the sensor across the coupling. Across the coupling, you need to put the sensor, one sensor at the pump here, bearing and, uh, and one more is the motor bearing. Okay. And these sensors are connected to the axle row, uh, this vibration analyzer. Okay. And they give some phase difference between the pump and motor. Suppose the phase difference is around 180 degree 
प्लस आर माइनस थर्टी डिग्री देन यू कैन कॉल इट एज अ मिस अलाइनमेंट मीन्स देर मे बी अ मिस अलाइनमेंट पॉसिबिलिटी देन वेन देर इज अ वन डिग्री प्लस आर माइनस थर्टी डिग्री सो टू पिन पॉइंट एनी मिस अलाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम यू नीड टू पुट द सेंसर अक्रॉस द कपलिंग इन द थर्ड केस इयर दिस बेस इज कनेक्टेड विद द बोल्ट इयर सपोज बोल्ट गेट लूज ड्यूरिंग द ऑपरेशन then you uh, then you need to find the very there looseness is there or not then what happens that two sensors then you put here one sensor at the base here one more sensor at the foundation here and these two sensors are connected to the vibration analyzer suppose the bolt is loose then what happens this there is a rocking motion upward and downward by means of base and this sensor is fixed here and this sensor moves up and down then there may be a again phase difference but during the looseness phase is unsteady because the looseness you cannot exactly pinpoint how much it uh, moves when there is how much there is a displacement so phase is unsteady with respect to there is one maybe 180 degree maybe 90 degree 120 degree like this okay when the phase is unsteady then you can pinpoint there is a there may be a looseness in the system Thank you